Hi, my name is Atik Roma, and I'm a Apple Certified DevOps Engineer. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create an IAM user and then uh, set up AWS CLI. Okay. So let's get started. So IAM, it means for Identity and Access Management. It's an AWS managed service where you can easily create IAM users and give them specific permissions so that you can give them a very specific permission and they will have only access to that. Apart from permission, to log into the console, you can also give permission to access the AWS via CLI. So we are going to show that how you can give permission to access via CLI and then also do some operations. So let's get started first. Where we can create that? You can go to the search bar and type IAM. Then you should go to IAM here. Click the search option IAM Identity and Access Management. And then go to user section. We are going to create a new user. And then we are going to create a new user. Click on the create user button, right? Give it a name. So I'm going to use I am user S3 bucket. So I'm going to create a user who has S3 full access, right? So click next. And then I'm going to click on the attached policies directly. And then I'm going to click here S3 full. Here it is. Click next. Create user. So I created a user and then uh, let's, it doesn't have any console access. So we, need, we can enable console access, but we can also use it. We use this user via API or AWS CLI. So what is AWS CLI? So AWS CLI, let's click on AWS CLI. So um, it's a software that you install on your local machine, right? AWS CLI is a software that you install your local machine. And then you use this, uh, IEM users access key to uh, do all the things that you could do via <clears throat> via the console. Click, click, click. You can do that via uh, API. So let's show. Uh, let's do that. Uh, we, before we use the AWS CLI, we would install it. And um, there is a there is a button here for installation. You click here to download this MSI file and then install it. I already installed it, so I'm not, I'm not going to show it, but it's very simple. You download this and then you click on the execute file. It should install and then you can verify the version. Click copy this. Open your terminal PowerShell. And then, uh, <clears throat> okay. So this is the version of my AWS CLI. So we have AWS CLI installed locally and successfully. So let's go to the next step. We, we are going to use access key to access the uh, AWS users uh, permissions. Uh, we need an access key and I'm going to create an access key for this. Create the access key. So this is the access key that is being created. Now click copy the access key and then here, you clear the screen and then type AWS configure, right? And then here you give the access key. And then the secret key you copy from here. And then the region, the region where you want it to perform operations. Okay. Next, the output format, I keep it JSON. Okay, let's clear this and then uh, this user we have given permissions, right? Let's go to permissions and then uh, go to permissions and we have given S3 full access. So what we can do here is, um, can I make it bigger? No. What we can do is like we can give uh, run commands for S3 CLI and that will do some options. For example, we wanted to list all the buckets. How can we do that? We can type here AWS S3 LS. This will show all the buckets that is available in my account at this moment, right? So I'm running the command. Let's see what is coming up. Okay, I have these buckets available in my account and these are all now listed here. And if I verify whether it is correct or not, we go to uh, S3. And then uh, I click here. <laughs> then we can actually um, see all the buckets i have 10 buckets that's all shown here it is exactly same as it here right 
Okay, now let's create a bucket. So uh, AWS S3, the bucket creation command probably mk make bucket, and then we give it a bucket name. So I think um, IAM user 2025. Okay, I, I just forget the comment. Um, bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's um, let's just uh, don't <clears throat> go to the official AWS S3 CLI uh, create bucket. I probably forget the command. Oh, the command is create bucket, oh, not MK create bucket. So there is uh, there is an example given maybe where it is AWS CLI. AWS S3 API create bucket. It's S3 API. The latest one. Let's try AWS uh, S3. Oh, you can also search here. Well, let's see the commands. So we have uh, CP. Uh, MB, okay. I think MB, make bucket. That's also the possibilities. And we help. So uh, we have MB S3 URI. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the output. I think. So if we check it, MB S3 URI, then do we have anything for name, path, stream? Maybe yes. Just we copy this. Let's see. No, I need to specify the region. Okay. So, uh, region. Uh, we have the region AP Southeast one, right? So AP Southeast one. One specific location for trying to see the property with a specific endpoint. Okay, let's see. Let's try to do this one. Oh, this bucket name is not available because someone has also already used it. Okay, so uh, I can try with this part. I think uh, bucket twenty twenty five. It should be okay, right? Yeah, the bucket is being created. That's good. And if I refresh, I should be able to view that bucket and I think bucket twenty twenty five. So that's the bucket. If I click here. And then everything looks good. Now let's try to delete that bucket, right? I can delete that bucket as well. How can we delete that bucket? Um, let's come here and delete. We uh, I can delete user, I think. WS3, uh, delete bucket. Yeah, I, I don't remember all those comments because uh, it's not needed to rem like you need to memorize everything. So okay. uh, just you understand the concept and then apply that. So uh, the comment for deleting bucket is the delete bucket comment. Let's try to do this. AWS is the APL. 
and then we delete bucket and then the bucket we use the delete is a pick bucket 2025 let's try yeah the bucket is deleted okay so we refresh hopefully we should see that the bucket is deleted okay the bucket is deleted this is i think bucket private it's different bucket my bucket was i think bucket 2025 and that's been deleted so um that's that's the whole point that you can use uh iem user and then generate an access key and a secret key use that into aws cli locally and then you, you can do all the operations that you usually do from the browser or console so also remember to uh, deactivate if you don't use it because you know if you somehow expose this access key anyone can use it right it's very sensitive so once your users is done you can deactivate it and again you, you can activate if you need to so that's it regarding aws s3 uh, aws cli and uh, i hope you like this video if so please like uh, share it to your friends and uh, subscribe to the channel thank you love mm -hmm. is smart.